This is you. You're among the crazy ones who've tapped into the limitless energy of plunder and you've made your first donut. But now you've fallen into the endless pit of despair in a soup of tutorials with no direction. This is the complete guide I wish I had when I started learning Blender many, many years ago. I'll give you highly curated resources and a complete pathway compiled as a free PDF. We'll start on Proving Grounds by adopting the apprenticeship of one of the three masters, CG Boost, Crossmind Studio or Blender Guru. All of them are as good as the other and it's up to you who you choose as your master. In the resource section of the PDF, you can click each resource to take you to the exact video or playlist. These beginner courses offer a complete and comprehensive overview of the forbidden knowledge of 3D. Taking one of these courses will set the foundations for your journey. Consider these as an appetizer for the main meal, which comes next. Once we have an overview, you'll enter the library. This is where you'll cover some theoretical foundations. The wisdom of CG Cookie will be your guide here, where you'll go over Blender's theoretical basics of geometry and computation. After these foundations are set in place, you'll now move on to the foundry. It's time to start the most fundamental thing in 3D, modeling. Blender Guru will take you in his apprenticeship to work on your basic modeling where you'll craft a chair. After this, you'll be passed on to Derek Elliott, where some intermediate modeling will be drilled down. Now to gel all the concepts learned, Master Grant Ebbett will take you under his wings to apply these in making a sea shack scene. To be passed on from the foundry, you'll have to model your own scene. Practice is of the essence. Once done, you'll enter the tannery. Here you'll meet Grant Abbott again and Ryan Kingart to tell you about the foundations of texturing and shading. This will be crucial before passing on to Derek Elliott for learning material development. You can then acquire some models from Sketchfab and practice the skills learned in the tannery. Next, you'll gear up for the lighting chamber. Here, a new breed of masters will take your hand and guide you in one of the most important aspects of 3D, lighting. You'll briefly be sent to the library to learn the basics and behavior of lights in 3D. After you're equipped with that knowledge, the new masters will tell you about different lighting setups, lighting conditions, workflows and best practices. Acquisition of this dark knowledge will enable you to light every scene confidently. You'll briefly stay in The Forge to learn how rendering works and the best practices for rendering, optimization and getting best results as fast as possible. You'll now go into the Puppeteer's Workshop to learn the principles and basics of animation. This is where the Puppet Lab is, where you'll learn the fundamentals of rigging. Finally, to graduate from basic to intermediate level, you'll create a short animation. Ideally, it should include the models that you've been making as practice from day one, so that you've been through all the complete pipeline with your own assets. At this point, hopefully you'll have some understanding of Blender to carve out a rough path ahead. In other words, your specialization or niche. To help develop your niche, you can follow creative inspirations from social media and your favorite artists at every point of your journey. You can also keep doing your personal projects. This will develop your portfolio and importantly, help you decide which part of the 3D pipeline you enjoy more. You will gravitate towards certain concepts and domains in 3D and this will be your niche, at least for the time being. It's okay to change your niche further down the line, but do try and focus on doing one thing at a time. So to specialize and go further in one of the niches, you will eventually go to special houses. To learn hard surface modeling, you'll go to The Forge. In here, for subdiv workflow, your teachers will be Polygon Runway and Derek Elliott. At this point, you can also consider investing in paid resources as they are much more thorough and structured. I've taken nearly all the courses that I mentioned and therefore recommending only the highest quality resources here to not waste your time. But ultimately, it is your choice. In the paid resources for subdev workflow will be the Robotic Planet course, which is particularly fun to cover. All the links are embedded in the PDF for you to quickly access. For Boolean workflow, which I use for my modeling use cases, the undisputed mentors will be Blender Bros, with their independent YouTube channels as Josh and Ryu. They also run good paid courses if you want to go down that route. For environment design, you'll go to the Terraform. If I were to recommend one paid resource, it would be in this house. 
and its master 3D environment scores by CG Boost. Partly because I'm a bit biased towards creating environments in 3D, but it's hands down one of the best courses that I've taken myself with great return on investment. Max A has good content for environment design on YouTube as well. For character design, you'll go to the Genetic Altar. Here, Crossmind Studio has a great class on 3D character creation process. I do recommend you take that first before delving into character design, as it can be a bit intimidating. If you want to go a bit more advanced, then this course on Udemy is a well-rounded and structured class for realistic characters and props. To build game assets, you're going to have to go to the Guild. Here, Grant Abbott will teach you this art. To go further, this course on Udemy is promising. The finesse will come with practice and grinding in the Guild. For character animation, the house you want to join is the one you've been in before, the Puppeteer's Workshop. Here, the undenied master of character animation, Pierrick Picou and Southern Chotti will unravel the mysteries. Alive, which is a course by Pierrick, is arguably one of the best training in character animation. He's also the headmaster of the Puppet Lab, where you learn all there is about rigging from simple to most advanced, complex character rigs. The teacher for product visualization lives in the Relic Vault. You've met him in the Foundry as well. We're of course talking about Derek Elliott. Clever Polly is another teacher to look up to in this house. To master texturing, you'll visit the tannery again, this time under the guidance of CG Boost. My second most favorite paid resource resides here as well. It's the Substance Painter Launchpad course. Although technically not Blender, Substance Painter is the industry standard for texturing assets. So if you want to master the House of Tannery, you would want to delve into Substance Painter at some point. Visual effects training in Blender and realistic rendering happens in the Magic Lab, headed by the one and only Ian Hubert. His Patreon is one of the gold mines of Blender knowledge, undeniably one of the highly recommended resources. Nick also has some great training on his YouTube for VFX in this house. If you want to master the elements with simulations, your go-to house will be the Chaos Engine. Here, Crossmind Studio will single-handedly take you as their own and teach you the art of bending the elements. Ryan King Art will offer training in clot simulation in this house. For motion graphics, you can go to the realm of motion with its headmaster, Ducky 3D. He'll train you in procedural materials and abstract motion graphics in Blender. Geometry nodes in Blender is taught in the house of Voodoo. Crossmind Studio has a great beginner's guide for geometry nodes. Once you're acclimatized with the node systems, you'll adopt the apprenticeship of one of the grand masters in geometry nodes, Arendelle. Grease Pencil is one of the underappreciated but powerful features of Blender. The sketch room is the house you want to go to for learning it. The free training in here will be with KD Sketch. The paid training is with Kevin Ramirez and their Master Grease Pencil with Blender course. You'll sit in the sculpture garden to learn the art of sculpting in Blender. CG Boost has an armada of resources to learn sculpting, both on their YouTube and on their website. They have a free and a paid course on sculpting which will propel your sculpting endeavors. Finally, we have Blender Studio, one resource to rule them all. It's an all-round subscription-based resource that has multiple trainings in all realms of Blender. The good thing is that you'll be directly supporting Blender development with their affiliation and they do have high quality and in-depth training. If you do get stuck somewhere for one specific thing, you can venture on a side quest. With Blender Stack Exchange, Blender Artist Forum and Reddit, you'll find absolute strangers here telling you useful tips and solutions. Now I would recommend some resources to rewire your brain into thinking like a creative artist. Blender Guru has a phenomenal video on the mindset of 3D artist. In addition to that, I would recommend three small and fun books to read. Steal Like an Artist, Show Your Work, and Keep Going. All three are by Austin Kleon. These are one of my favorite books and top recommendations to all creatives. The only thing left now is to go create magic. Feel free to download the PDF that goes with the video. I promise it will be helpful to you. Leave a like if you found it useful. Do consider subscribing if you learned something. I'll see you in the next one. Farewell.